This is a nice example of representative pancreatic obiliary anatomy. In this case, you can see the duodenoscope. And as a frame of reference, you should know that the duodenoscope diameter is about 12 millimeters. This serves as an internal ruler by which you can measure the diameter of the other ducts. Normally, a common bile duct should be about 7 millimeters in patients who have their gallbladder, and it can be up to 10 millimeters in patients who have had their gallbladder removed. Therefore, in this case, you can see it's less than 12, and this is a normal diameter. This is, in this case, I have cannulated the orifice of the bile duct and pancreatic duct with a catheter. I don't have deep cannulation, but I am opacifying both ducts, both the common bile duct and the pancreatic duct. The common bile duct uh, has a, a vertical orientation going up to the liver where these intrahepatic ducts are seen. This point here is called the bifurcation in that there's the right and left systems bifurcating from the common hepatic duct. The pancreatic duct um, has a more tortuous anatomy, but this is a very typical appearance. This area of the pancreatic duct is called the genu, which is a Latin term for knee. And this main pancreatic duct can be followed all the way out to the tail. In this case, one can see very subtle filling of secondary branches of the pancreatic duct. This should generally be avoided as overfilling of the pancreatic duct can lead to post ERCV pancreatitis. Here is an example of a normal ERCP with the exception that the patient has had a cholecystectomy. Clips from the gallbladder surgery can be seen and the cystic duct has a very typical appearance with these so-called circular valves. It has a, almost like a pigtail appearance. And when one sees that, one can be sure that this is the cystic duct. We have filled the, the bile duct very well, and the biliary tree has an appearance of a tree in winter. So you can see the branches, and there should be progressive tapering of the caliber. So the, the duct is larger, closer to the main duct, and as you go further out, the ducts get smaller and smaller and smaller. That, this is a normal appearance of a, a cholangiogram. Here's an example showing a dilated bile duct. Again, we have the internal ruler of 12 millimeters, and you can see that the common bile duct is very close to that, perhaps 11 millimeters in diameter. Down here is a, the balloon from the stone extraction uh, catheter. But the intrahepatic ducts, unlike the previous example, are distended. So this is an example of intrahepatic biliary dilation as well as extrahepatic biliary dilation. In this example, one can see two stones floating like ice cubes inside the common bile duct. Contrast is around them, but the presence of the stones excludes the contrast. Other features of this uh, image include dilated bile duct. Again, it's larger than the diameter of the scope, so this is definitely dilated. Here one can see clips from a previous gallbladder surgery and the cystic duct can be followed all the way around to here. This is called a low insertion of the cystic duct. Here is a patient who had 21 stones. We actually counted them as we extracted them. As you can see, this duct is very dilated. Compared to the scope diameter, it's much larger. And um, this patient Again, you can see clips, so this person had gallbladder surgery in the past, yet they had multiple stones in the, in the bile duct. We see this very commonly. Not as many stones as this, but the presence of stones after gallbladder surgery is not a rare event. Um, on this image, one can see a catheter and a guide wire, which is going all the way up here and headed off towards the left hepatic duct. Here's an example of a very large stone in the distal bile duct, which is dilated. A contrast has not yet been injected into the more proximal bile duct, 
but we can definitely see a stone in the lower bile duct. This is an example of a stone which is present in the cystic duct. So this patient has had a cholecystectomy. You can see clips. This is the typical anatomy of a cystic duct with the curves, the coils, look, coil appearing shape. The, bile, the common bile duct, as you see, is not dilated. It's smaller in diameter than the scope. But um, a stone is caught uh, up here above the cystic duct. Again, here we have a, uh, the stone balloon has been filled. So this may look like a stone, but this is just air within the stone extraction balloon. We often will do an injection with the balloon, el with the balloon inflated. We call this an occlusion cholangiogram. It allows good filling of the proximal biliary tree without contrast spilling out below.